Hello guys, welcome to my this video and today in this react tutorial, I will show you how to implement react bootstrap slider in react application. So in my previous all those video, I had shown you how to create component, how to install vanilla bootstrap and how to install react bootstrap. So if you haven't watched those videos, so you can go to my channel and after the playlist and there you will find react tutorial. So you can check this playlist react tutorial so you will get all this video okay and i will suggest to watch all this video if you are beginner in react okay and now guys here you can see this is my component blog.js and if i open the browser so here you can see this blog.js file it's displaying here okay this is my project so if here now it's a blank so that's why it's displaying nothing but if i write here block or anything so here you will find it will display block here you can see okay so now now guys here just i will remove this one and now my main motive is to implement slider so now guys here just i will open react bootstrap okay this one and guys here this is the first link i will open and by the way i will provide the link in description so you can directly go to my description and watch the site so now here you can see the components so here i will just search here the carousel component so here you can see carousel component and carousel we called it slider as well so here you will get the different kind of slider okay so guys here the first slider is very easy so here is the slider you can see and here the code so just if you want to implement this first slider so just you have to copy this code and here just you have to paste okay so after that you will find the carousel will display in your application so here it is error because guys i have implemented this carousel but guys here i have to import this carousel okay so that's why here if i scroll down at the uh, at the end so here you will find a api here you can see so just i have to copy this um, api and here just on the top i have to import this one so means this carousel now it is taking from this react bootstrap carousel okay so just i will save this one and here just i will check here you can see carousel is implemented okay so here if you see here so uh, actually i do, uh, don't have any images so that's why it is showing like this way otherwise uh, it is now carousel is implemented and if i click here here you cannot see this button color because it's a actually white color and the background is white okay so that's why uh, you cannot see the button but guys here if I click so you can see it is sliding right means carousel is implemented so guys here just I will open the inspect and I will just change the button color okay then you will find the button and when I will click this button so you will find the uh, slider will dis uh, the slider uh, button slider button color okay so here suppose I if I write the color is red so let's see mm, okay it is not coming okay it's used this image okay so here actually just i have to add something like with with 20 pixel height 20 pixel and background Right. okay so guys uh, what i did just for displaying this button actually it is not the button actually my main motive is to implement a slider okay so guys that's why just here uh, this button this is the image okay so guys here uh, you can change the image or icon as per your choice i hope you know if you don't know you can write in comment because here i will not show this one because my main motive is to slide implement slider only okay so now guys here if i click you can see it is sliding so i hope it is clear that you can understand a uh, slider is implemented perfectly okay now guys coming to the image part so if you want to change image so here you can see the uh, this image source so from here you can change all these images okay so let's see guys i will show you the image how you can change so i think i have some image in my code pen so from there just i will take some images and i will add and i will show you okay i think it will be better otherwise you may confuse so just i will logged in my code pen account and from here i have many of uh, many of design or anything so from here some images i have so this is online image link so i'll just copy this online image link from here and just 
here i will paste okay so now after that if uh, you can notice here the image will come see image is coming and the button is displaying because the button color is white and the background was white so that time button was not displaying but now this button is coming on the image so it is displaying so uh, only one image i have added so if i click this button so you can see image is slide and second image if i add the second image as well so you can see is um, the perfectly okay so i will add the second image uh, because if i don't add you may get confused here so that's why i'm adding it may take time but you can understand easily okay so this is second image and i will add another uh, third image i think three images enough for understanding here so here just i have added some online images okay so now here you can see uh, this uh, button here if i click here so you can see images sliding okay and this is very basic so guys here my main motive is to show the second slider okay so what i will do just i will remove this one but if you want to add this slider okay so you can do that but guys my main motive is to show the second slider why that also i will explain why i am showing this slider okay here uh, if you understand how to implement this slider so you can understand many of things the react okay so guys uh, api okay if i mean which i copied so it will be the same for all the slider because the slider is coming from or you can say it carousel it is coming from bootstrap so the api will be same but the defined kind of slider so there is the defined kind of code okay so here this is the code you can see here this is function okay and guys this function after that it's a return i mean it is same like this one i have the block function so here i have used that is es6 function so that's why i have written arrow function otherwise it is same actually same like this function and here you can see this carousel okay so it is same so how to implement because it's a function and uh, in my component there is already a function okay so how you can implement so that time guys here what you have to do just you have to copy this thing okay from function to up to this one okay up to this one you have to copy and so uh, you cannot call this function inside your component function right so what you have to do just here just here you have to paste the thing whatever you have copied okay and after that so means guys this is actually if i show this is block block our component for uh, which i have created same way slider it's a also a component if you want so you can create a separate component like how i have created block right here you can see just understand carefully okay how i have created this block component it's a block folder then block.js file and then uh, just i have created this block okay and uh, suppose i need to import this block so what i did in app.js file i have imported see block imported here and after that this one so okay so same way guys if you want to add this carousel component in different page so you can create that one and after that same like how i uh, imported this block component here so same way you can import this carousel component here and after that you can call the carousel like this way okay but guys what i did here just i have added this carousel component inside this block component i didn't create any separate component okay just inside this block component i have added this carousel component so now guys here i have to call how i call this block component in app.js file see here so the same way i have to call and where i will call it i want to display it inside this block component so just here i will call, call this one okay guys if you have any doubt or confusion so you can simply write uh, in my comment section okay or instagram uh, mainly you can write com in comment section but guys doubt should be related this slider okay because guys if you write any other doubt so in that video so it is it is odd thing okay so you can write the doubt in slider uh, in in this videos comment okay so now guys here i just call this one okay so this is actually done and guys now and guys here you can see it's a used 
use state use state is the different part that i will show you in other next video okay so now guys just you have to remember it is used use state so that time guys here uh, you have to import use state okay so use okay this one this one you have to import so now save this one and you will find this slider it's added so same way guys now just here i will some uh, images which i have online images okay so this image i will add here so this is image source here just i will add some images so you can better understand that the slider is implemented okay so now first image i have added and this is second image and i will add the another image okay okay here only uh two slide okay this one this one i will add three slider it is displaying so three uh, i mean three item is displaying so i have added three sliders see here three item is displaying okay so now i will just do save and if i go here so you can see so here you can see if i just click next button it is sliding and here also it is sliding and if you are thinking this left and right side gap so because here i have added a container so here you can see this is slider component now you can see better way so this is the function same like block block also a function so in react there is two things two way in html we just create dot html page and we write code but in react we need to create dot js file it is similar like dot js simply i'm trying to explain okay and guys in react we cannot write code directly so here we need to create a function okay so it or class so here i had shown you the functional component here you can see this is functional component okay and mostly in react we use functional component because there is the little benefit so now guys here you can see same like uh, i have the carousel component so this carousel component i have called inside this block component okay but if you want what i was explaining before if you want so you can you can just call this carousel component uh, i mean you can add this carousel component in separate component same like block.js so same like you can create carousel.js and you can add this one okay and after that you can import this carousel.js file same how i imported block in app right so same way you can import here and you can call this carousel same like this way okay it is very easy thing so i hope guys it is clear so same way if you face a, any kind of uh, react bootstrap thing like this so you can i hope you can add it okay it will, you will not get any problem if you get any problem so you can write in comment section i will try to solve your doubt if you find this video is helpful so guys please like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for getting more updates.